Hey what's up David Alex here and welcome to yet another ideas to creations quick tip. In this video I'm going to show you something interesting you can do with when working with layers and masking. Now if you have a bunch of layers like this and you'd like to mask out one of them you can select this and say hit the G key and go ahead and start masking but you can have some that are behind others and so on and you can go ahead and solo and everything or maybe have one that's off to the side like this and you want to mask it out for whatever reason. Well uh, should you find yourself in that situation, you can simply double click on a layer here to open it inside the layer panel. Now this isn't just for viewing because here you can now use stuff like roto brush and so on, but you can also use the pen tool. So once you're done your masking there and uh, you're nice and happy, once you go back to the composition panel you can see that your masking is done there. Now this make things, makes things a lot more convenient because if you also have effects applied, for example, I have a tint on this guy and maybe a fast blur and he's blurred out and then I need to mask him out. I can just simply double click on his layer and it's going to take me here where he's nice and clean. I can do my masking now, my dreadful masking because you know it's a quick tip but uh, just get this done with. All right, once you've closed the shape, you can go back to the composition panel and you'll see that your mask has been applied, your effects are still on, and everybody's happy. That was David Alex for this quick tip. Tune in to at I2C blog on Twitter. Subscribe to the channel for more quick tips for After Effects and Cinema 4D. I'll see you in the next one.